how do you measure whether or not you are pushing yourself and really increasing your skill, whether that's a brand new thing that you wanna learn how to do or you want to increase your competency in a skill set that you already have. One way that I do that is by celebrating mistakes and really looking and seeing how many mistakes have I made this week that are helping me to grow and learn. Well, if we use that as the measuring stick, I'm doing really, really well this week. <laughs> so I have a couple of things that I was doing brand new, first time ever, and I certainly made some mistakes. One of them was launching a webinar. So I had my very first webinar on Monday and it was about how to stop ruminating and start taking action on the things that we want to achieve. And I was sitting there having my breakfast when all of a sudden at 6.45, I got a ping that said, my webinar started in 15 minutes. Well, I thought it was starting at eight. I didn't do the settings right. So if you can imagine, I was not anywhere near ready. I had to get up, run down the hall, put on enough makeup and do my hair to get presentable and then jump on the webinar when I was expected to be there. The good news is it went really well. I had seven people out of 14 show up, which was amazing given that I had advertised the wrong time. And we had great conversation and I really was able to relax and enjoy the experience knowing that I had the replay that I could send to folks who had signed up and weren't able to join us, except that I deleted the replay. Yeah, I went in to check the settings and I deleted the replay. So now I don't have that. And you know what? That's okay. It's a learning. And I now know how to better manage the settings so that I'll be absolutely ready on my next webinar. I think the most disappointing thing about this one was I lost the comments and the, the conversations that we were having inside the webinar. So if you had joined me uh, on the webinar, I'd love for you to reply to this email and let me know what your thoughts were around future webinars that you'd like to see me create. I jotted down some notes, but I wanna make sure I captured all of your great ideas. And if you didn't join me on the webinar and you've got some thoughts on what you'd like to see, I'd love to hear from you as well, so please let me know. You'll find a button in this week's email that will take you to the registration page for our next webinar, which will be on April 20th on how to quiet your inner critic. It's called, Is Your Inner Critic Designing Your Future? And I'd love for you to join me on that webinar. So please take a look, register, and I will see you at, honest to goodness, eight o'clock. <laughs> Phoenix time on April the 20th for that session. The other mistake that I made this week was in the live Q&A for my masterclass. So I set up a Friday Q&A. I got the time right this time on the live Q&A. But what I struggled with was bringing people on camera. So Yolanda was online with me. She came on camera. Thank you so much, Yolanda. She was super patient with me as I was working through it. Come to find out the fix was really simple. I did not have my volume up on my computer. Sounds silly and it's a learning. So um, I appreciate Yolanda hanging in there and having a good laugh with me when I realized what the heck was going on with the live Q&A. So how do you measure your success as you are moving towards increasing your skill set? I'd love to hear about it. And if you've made some mistakes this week that have led to some fantastic learnings, I'd love to hear about that as well. Hope you're having a lovely day, that you're finding a way to enjoy the outside a little bit um, as we are all in a quarantine situation. And I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on how you're moving your skill set forward. Have a great day.